Good morning, guys. This is Sophia Rashkin. Thanks for joining me here on Facebook Live. I got really inspired on my walk here in uh, Washington Park here in Denver. It is absolutely amazing, beautiful, sunny weather, almost 80 degrees. I feel so incredibly blessed and um, grateful, very grateful and blessed here this morning to be here sitting at the park and um, having you guys all join me. So thanks for hopping on. Um, hi out there to all of you. Thumbs up. Um, put something in the comments box. I'd love to say hi to all of you. Um, yeah, I, I did a post a little bit this morning about uh, the American dream and what I learned from living the American dream. And now I think uh, I will call it unliving unliving the American dream and um, that's for me. I think that uh, being here right now is an American dream in my own way and maybe for a lot of you too. Let me just show you what's going on here out here at Washington Park here in Denver. Um, I'm going to flip the camera and let you guys see my view. Um, this is the lake here at Washington Park. It's called Smith Lake and um, I, I love this park. I take a walk around this park. A lot of geese, ducks, there's a boathouse, a lot of activity on the weekends, and it's pretty quiet today. Um, but this is my view right now. I take a walk around here. And then, you know, the other part of all of this is that right behind me, there goes a wonderful couple that walked by. Um, right behind me, if you guys can see, there's all these kids probably from a school doing some kind of a field day. And um, they're just out with their school and their class and, and they're doing field day. And you know what, to me, this to me is what I call my own American dream. This is to me pure freedom. Um, I wrote this morning in a post talking about how, you know, I, you know, I, I was married, I uh, had two homes, Nice portfolio, cars, money in the bank account. Um, there was a lot of those great material possessions. And that was a fantastic um, time as well. And it was a blessing. And I'm grateful for those blessings when they served in my life at that time. And going through that experience all at the same time, knowing that um, I got what I needed out of that experience and I'm grateful for that experience. I'm actually very humbled by that experience. And at the same time, there was a part of me that did not feel uh, completely fulfilled. I felt something was missing. Something wasn't right. And I never really felt fulfilled. And once I let go, once I released, once I allowed the universe, my higher self, guides, whatever we want to call it, God, Whatever you want to call it. Maybe you don't even want to call it that. You want to call it Joe. Once we, me, let me just, I'll take responsibility. I'll speak from my perspective. Once I allowed all of that to be released and let that all go, there was an immense amount of freedom um, within my heart, within my soul, within my mind, my body, um, letting go of so much emotions. Everything was a lot more freeing and I felt I continued to feel more and more untethered by all of that now am I saying that um, anybody else shouldn't have that or you should you should follow in my footsteps no I'm not saying that that was what was right for me and it is still right for me and I, I do believe that you know if that that if that stuff the material possessions is meant to come back into my life again and I'm meant to have all that, it'll come back. If it's important enough to me to have that, sure, it'll come back. But can the fulfillment in my heart, in my soul, in my spirit, um, can that be taken away? No. No, that's, that's the ultimate fulfillment. And that is what I call unliving, unliving the American dream. It's a beautiful thing to have things in our life it's also a wonderful place to just be 
grateful for what is presently here. Um, being completely untethered, um, not having those things in my life, which actually was quite a weight. It weighed me down in a lot of ways. And now I feel incredibly blessed and fulfilled in a different way. And that cannot be taken away from me. Material things can come and go. They can be taken away from us. We can release them. We can let them go. The fulfillment that I have in my heart and where I am now cannot be taken away from me. And so that is the greatest blessing I feel I can have. And certainly, whether that's something that you want in your life or maybe you don't and you don't care about any of that, that's okay too. But that is something I would, I, I absolutely wish and would want for all of you. And it is something when you feel it you and you actually understand what that feels like. It's one thing to like, okay, get the concept, but when you know it and you have faith and trust in it and you follow that, no matter where you are, no matter where your bank account is, no matter how much you have in your life with material possessions, no matter what relationship is be affecting you right now, uh, whether that's good, bad, or indifferent, and whether your health is suffering, whether you have good health, not such good health, um, whether your job and your financial situation, wherever you're at, when you actually understand and really, really know it, really know it, no matter what you have in your life, and it comes in an inner knowing, you, you get me, you'll get me, you'll get me. I don't even, I don't, not even quite sure I know what I, I, I'm like thinking to myself, do, the, you know, I hope they're I'm making some kind of point across all of this. So, um, but yeah, being out here, I don't know what time is it in Denver, around 9 a.m., almost 10 or something like that, and being able to see you know and, and just walk the park and be around the lake and be around nature um trees water land people creation all animals you know that's part of my shamanic journey it's part of my shamanic work is to work with the planet and and all creation on the planet and i feel very blessed and untethered and be able to travel with a backpack for weeks at a time with just my backpack. It was funny, my sister was saying to me, she goes, you have a backpack, you've gone for weeks. What the heck do you have in your backpack? What do you have in your backpack? I, I hope you don't mind, sis, I love you. And she goes, I have a whole suitcase just for my makeup. <laughs> and I told her, I said, what I have in my backpack is I have, uh, well, first of all, when I travel, I travel with just the clothes on me and then I have two other outfits and a set of pajamas. And uh, yeah, underwear, toiletries. And then I told her, I said, I have my singing bowl, uh, my Tibetan singing bowl. I also have tingsha bells. I have sage um, to do clearings. And that's basically it. Um, that's all I have. And it's incredibly freeing. Um, it's incredibly freeing to travel that light, to just throw it on my back, walk off the airplane, hop in a car or an Uber or whatever, and go where I need to go, wherever I'm guided and wherever spirit directs me. Um, and it's an incredibly freeing feeling. So this to me is, might not be the American dream most people think and want in their lives and that's okay um, I'm gonna be 45 45 years old coming up here in on June 11th and uh, yeah living in my mom's basement uh, when I'm in town in Denver and um, then I'm on the road and I'm living with I'm staying with friends family clients whoever and doing spiritual energy work 
and it, are the are, is is the money situation changing all the time? Yeah. And does that make me curious? Yeah. And does it also stop me from living my path? No, it doesn't. I still continue to do the work and I trust in the universe and I trust in the guides. I trust in myself that I'm here for this purpose. This is my life's work. This is my soul's mission. And I had made a promise to the universe, I will do whatever it takes to fulfill my soul's mission and complete my life's work in this lifetime. I will do whatever it takes. And that requires a lot of giving up my old belief patterns of how things are supposed to be, who I am as a woman, who I am as a mother, who I was as a wife, who I am in society, what society thinks of me. It requires a lot of letting go. It requires a lot of emotional work. Um, it requires a lot of self-reflection time. It requires a lot of meditation. It requires questioning everything that happens for me and asking what is the blessing in disguise from the universe for, with all of this. It requires a lot of trust. And I am honored and blessed and pleased to walk this journey with many of you. Um, I'm grateful and appreciative that you guys tune in and, and um, walk this journey with me. I'm going to be traveling a lot this summer. So this month of May, I actually was given an incredible opportunity to be at home with my parents and with my boys because I think moving forward, come June and moving forward, I'm not going to get an opportunity to have a whole month, a whole month to just be with the loved ones and, and just be present with them. Um, so that, that's a blessing. I mean, there were many times throughout the month I was thinking, what do I need to be doing, Spirit? What do you want me to do? Where do you want me to be? Who do you want me to connect with? And uh, every day they would show me. Every day they would show me what was for the highest good of myself and everyone involved. And that could be just basically um, relaxing and meditating. It could be spending time with family and friends, my soul family. It could be doing Facebook Live like this, writing, um, a lot of introspective time, a lot of reading, a lot of listening to audios. Um, a lot of rest, a lot of self-care, blessings for the self-care. And because I know it's coming kind of like, okay, June's coming. The volume's getting turned up. And so take, don't take it for granted and really appreciate this time right now. And I appreciate what's coming up at the same time. Um, but I know the volume's just about to be turned up and I'm going to be in LA 99% of the summer. I'm going to be up and down the coast, LA, San Diego, Carlsbad. And I invite you guys to join me out there. I'll be on the road a lot. I might be, who knows, on the East Coast as well. Um, boy, I think my nose is running. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of traveling and you guys will be hopefully joining me on the road and um, walking this path with me. So anyway, guys, that is me un unliving the typical American dream. This is my American dream. And um, I'd love to hear all about yours. I want to hear all about yours. You guys feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. You can reach out to me here on Facebook, private message me. Um, you can go to my website as well, Sophia, S-O-P-H-I-A, dash rashkin r-a-s-h-k-i-n dot com you can reach out to me through email through my website um but yeah i'd love to hear from you and tell me all about what your american dream is as well anyway guys thanks for being here with me i love you all much love and many blessings until next time it'll be real soon okay bye guys bye for now <laughs>